I'd be interested to hear from other sales leaders, what does personalization mean to them? That's a great question, Will. I know exactly who to ask. I don't like personalization in the sense of you're just trying to rummage through someone's profile to find an interest. There are people where that works. If you hit me with that, with that message, I'm gonna go cute, but how does this help me? First, what it is is it's relevancy. Right? That's what personalization really is, is it's relevancy. Writing an email or a message that can only relate to that person. Like I say that, but I don't necessarily always do that. Take the time to find something meaningful about that person and incorporate it into an email. Two different concepts. And the two concepts are personalization and resonance. Now to me, personalization is something personal. Um, you know, your name is Will, you have a, I think it's an Iron Man mask behind you. I can't quite tell. What is that behind you? Mandalorian. Mandalorian, I'm um, outing myself. Um, so that's personal. I know something about you. You are a fan of Mandalorian. I believe like where people get it wrong is where they put in all this information that doesn't clearly articulate how you can help that person. If we're only making it about like, hey, like I have this amazing email, but we're not talking about like business value or how we can drive business outcomes or like how we can help them do their job better, easier, faster with less risk. Like that to me is where we go off the rails. What it is not faking it to not have an actual tie in to your message. You're being inauthentic. You're looking at their college. You're looking at, you're stretching the truth to, to get yourself an entry in there. For Will Adkin, I want to talk about your Star Wars passion. I want to use that if it makes sense to my messaging. If it does not, I'm not stretching that truth. There's no point in that personalization because it doesn't mean anything for Will. He's just gonna be like, cool, dude, you know I like Star Wars, so does everybody else. But if I lead with why Star Wars makes sense to my solution or my product, it's all about that relevancy and that tie-in, and that then is personalization at its finest. My thinking with personalization is that you can bucket the people you're prospecting after. They fit this title, they're in this industry, they all just got promoted, and they all use this CRM that my product integrates with. You can send the same email talking about those four personalization points to 100 people, and it may not be directly related to just one person, like, but in their eyes, it seems like it's directed at them. Even more important than that, I think, is relevancy. It's not, you like dogs, we have that in common, so we should talk. Hey, your sales team has grown 600% in the past year, and you've mentioned on your LinkedIn that you're hiring, and you talk about how you love to coach. SDRs. We are a platform that allows you to do that at scale. Would it make sense to connect to hear how we've helped folks like you do that effectively? Like that's different because it's personalized. It's about something that's personal happening in that person's life, but it's more relevant. You can be relevant and send out a very relevant email to a bunch of people that says the exact same thing. And I think that that's like an important thing to keep in mind because everyone's spending way too much time writing unimportant, unmeaningful emails instead of emails that actually speak to a pain or problem that's probably happening right now in their prospect's life. The other concept is resonance. What do I know about your persona? You are a content creator, you work at Vidyard. I could take something about The Mandalorian, I could combine it with something about you, uh, or your persona rather, your company, and I could craft a very personalized note that piques your interest because it's about a subject that you care about personally, but it solves a business problem that has a resonance with you. And that, to me, is the A plus magic formula for a personalized note. Can you have resonance without personalization. Yes, I can write to you, Will, and I can talk about a problem that matters to your persona or to your account, and I can completely forego anything about Mandalorian. Can I write a personalized note that does not have resonance? No, I should not just write you an email about Mandalorian and expect you to care about my company. I have to connect the dots. So resonance always has to be there. Personalization is like the whipped cream on top of the sundae. This is the way. This is the way.